Hello, I'm Neil H, and today I'm bringing you the third of ten quick overviews of each playbook currently available for the Avatar Legends tabletop role-playing system by Magpie Games. We're continuing with The Guardian, a protector and defender devoted to others, especially their ward. The Guardian playbook is perfect for those wishing to play a character that's utterly determined to keep one other person, their ward, safe from all threats and dangers. This determination is both altruistic and selfish, which can lead to trust issues and annoyed wards. The Guardian begins play with a creativity of minus one, a focus of plus one, a harmony of zero, and a passion of plus one. The Guardian's principles are self-reliance and trust. Self-reliance represents how much the Guardian mistrusts others in the world, focusing on handling problems on their own. A Guardian with high self-reliance is capable and confident, yet it also cynical to the point of doubting others. The opposite principle of trust covers how much trust the Guardian puts in others to deal with problems without the Guardian's help. A Guardian with high trust believes in their companions, but may miss key details or warning signs that a self-reliant Guardian would catch. The Guardian's moment of balance requires finding a place where they are working to keep those they care about safe, while also trusting those people to live their own lives and look after themselves. They put their own life on the line to defeat a villain or danger that seems otherwise unstoppable. The Guardian's feature is the Protector's Burden. This feature requires naming a ward, who must be another player character to start. A ward may be switched if they leave play or are otherwise no longer present. The GM must agree when switching to an NPC ward. At the beginning of each session, the Guardian should roll 2d6 with a plus one modifier for each of the following questions they say yes to. Do you believe your ward listens to you more often than not? Have you recently protected your ward or helped them with a problem? Is there an immediate threat to your ward that you are aware of? On a 10 plus, you hold two. On a seven and nine, you hold one. This hold can be spent at any time to either take a 10 on any move without rolling to defend or protect your ward, track down the ward even if they are hiding or avoiding you, figure out what the ward is up to without them knowing. On a miss, the guardian still holds one However, they must choose one of the following by the end of the session. They may either shift their balance twice towards self-reliance and keep their ward as they decide that they're the only one that can keep them safe, or they can shift their balance twice towards trust and switch their ward to a new person as they decide they can handle life without your protection. Finally, whenever their ward marks a condition in front of them, the Guardian marks a fatigue or a condition themselves. The ward can also call upon the Guardian to live up to their principle without shifting their balance away from center, and with a plus one. The Guardian has access to the following moves. Suspicious Mind allows the Guardian to roll with focus when watching a person carefully to figure them out. On a 10+, plus, hold two. On a 7 to 9, hold one. This hold can be spent to ask a question from the following list, which they must answer honestly. Are you telling the truth? What are you truly feeling? What do you really want right now? What are you worried about? What are you about to do? Unlike most moves, nothing happens on a miss. Badge of Authority grants the Guardian a badge or some symbol of authority from their background. This does not have to be a law officer's badge, just a symbol that denotes authority or some form of object. When giving an NPC that respects the Guardian's authority and order, roll with passion. On a 10+, plus, they do what the Guardian says. On a 7 to 9, the target chooses to either do so, but in a lackluster fashion, say they need something first to be able to do it, or do it, but they're going to talk to the Guardian's superiors. On a miss, the Guardian's authority doesn't sway the target NPC. They do as they please, and the Guardian takes minus one forward against them. Catch a Liar grants the Guardian a space to note down a name of someone they are suspicious of. This name cannot be changed until the target admits their guilt or misdeeds in front of an audience. At that point, the name is cleared and another can be filled in at any time. Alternatively, the Guardian can mark a condition to clear the name when they no longer seek to uncover the target's secrets. 
The benefit to all this is that the Guardian clears all of their fatigue and up to two conditions when exposing their named target's lies or wrongdoing. The Guardian can also eliminate an additional option from the list when intimidating their target into admitting their crimes using evidence. Furrowed Brow is fairly straightforward. The Guardian increases their focus by plus one, up to a maximum of plus three. Finally, there's Martyr Complex. When the Guardian has a total of eight between marked conditions, their highest principle, and fatigue, they take a plus one ongoing to all moves, though be forewarned, the Guardian will likely be teetering on the edge of being knocked out by doing this. The Guardian's advanced technique is Divert. This defend and maneuver technique has the Guardian stepping in the way of blows intended for allies. Whenever an ally within reach suffers a blow, the Guardian can suffer it instead. Additionally, if the Guardian also uses the retaliate technique during this exchange, they deal an additional one fatigue each time it triggers. The Guardian's growth question is, did you pursue a desire or goal of your own outside of protecting others? This pushes the Guardian towards self-awareness, past just protecting people, and moving towards making decisions for themselves. And that's the Guardian in a nutshell. If you like this quick overview of the playbook, drop a like and a comment below. You'll also want to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when the next playbook video releases. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see Avatar Legends in action, I recommend checking out my Rise of the Dark Avatar game, link below.